videos is sort of like one of those um, situational videos that I've made before on my channel. And yes, we are going to be try and find a good trade option for John Collins, <laughs> the player who has been in trade talks basically all year, not happy being in Atlanta, which is kind of sad, but I'm going to be trying to making somewhat of a somewhat realistic trade. Obviously, it's not going to be super realistic because uh, we never know what's going to happen in the NBA. Um, but looking at this Atlanta Hawks team, I really like this team. I've said this before, and I'll say this again. This team, um, the Knicks, um, the Bulls, I mean, teams even like Charlotte now are just like, they're one really good player away from being a great team. They have such a good all-around, well, they have such a good, well-balanced team where they have good depth if they did add, you know, future all-star great players, you know, kind of like what KD and Kyrie did for the Nets. Maybe a player like that can come to Atlanta and do that. So, uh, they have great depth already, so I think I'm just going to really try to push this team into a good playoff spot this year and get really good development. So, looking at my options on trading John Collins, and I'm not really entirely sure what we're looking for. I think a two-guard is definitely the best-case scenario for me. Right here, there is a trade for Tyler Hero, which would be very, 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 very cool, but definitely got to look at more of my options here. Plus, we get rid of the, uh, the Rondo contract, which, if you don't know, Rondo has actually signed for two years, which I obviously don't really want that old of a player on my team. Oh, this will make it Tyrese Halliburton, which, if you don't know in real life, is actually playing fairly well. He's at 82 overall in 2K right now. Get it a three. Okay. What else does he have? And a pretty good defender. That's what I'm really looking for is a, you know, a combo guard who could play with Trey Young, you know, without the ball, with the ball in his hand, obviously with Trey Young off the ball, getting those sort of Steph Curry type looks. Um, and also being a good perimeter defender, I think Tyrese might be a good pickup for us because we do need a two guard, obviously. Uh, Bogdanovich isn't really what we're looking for is Kendall Johnson, but he's definitely more of a small forward than a shooting guard, I think, and our small forward position is already pretty stacked. <laughs> Rory Achimura. I mean, yeah, we could just trade power forward for power forward, maybe. Plus, we get a first round pick. That's kind of cool, but eh. I think I'm really, 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 really liking the idea of either getting maybe like a Tyler Hero or uh, maybe even a Tyree Saliburton. Let's see. I think just the defensive capabilities, which really taking me over for Tyrese, over Tyler. Yeah, you know what? I think I am going to do this. So, for my first trade, my somewhat realistic style of trade, plus with this, uh, you know, uh, DR Fox still gets a very good running mate in, in, in Sacramento. I think that's a pretty good, maybe a, a solid trade for both sides. I think that's really cool. So, um, we have a lot of other trades to do. So, let's hopefully jump into the video and get that done. So, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like the video. Obviously, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, I think we're almost at 6,000 subs. Um, yeah, yesterday I did post a very fun video talking about NBA Legends, and I really hope you guys enjoyed that video as well, as well, as well, as well. Just taking a look at my rotation right now, and we can actually see that most of the players I have right now are going to be players I want to keep. Basically, long term, they're young guys who have great potential and very good contracts, so getting rid of Rondo. Uh, just for anything really is what I'm really looking for because we don't really need Rondo because we have uh, oh um, 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 Dunn, Chris Dunn, right? That's his name, I think, Chris Dunn. Uh, so I can get rid of Rondo right here. My game glitches really badly. <laughs> uh, 2K, that's that's great. Okay, thanks 2K. Anyways, I made that trade. Rondo's gone, and then trying to get this salary cap dump from Danilo Gallinari's trade is obviously getting rid of Danilo Gallinari, and we get a LaMarcus Aldridge, um, you know, offer, which is great, but we also get a counter offer, and them just giving us, granting us, a great six-man potential guy uh, in Rudy Gay. So we get Rudy Gay and LaMarcus Aldridge for uh, basically a pick that we're, we know we're going to be good, and, and, and Gallinari, which is a huge contract, it's going to be lifted off our soldiers, um, soldiers, sol soldiers, soldiers. Wow, I can't even say that word right. Soldiers. There you go. Uh, but yeah, I think we're looking really good now. I think we're already a very deep team. Um, I still need to find a Bogdanovich trade. And I obviously want to get Enyike. Enyike Okongu. Okongu. Some more minutes.
minutes for the starting lineup just to help him develop uh, into a, a better player for maybe next year. Because I obviously don't think we're going to win a title this year. I don't think Trey and a very old Lamarcus Aldridge is a very good duo. But I think next year if we can get a good free agent signing, I think we'll be able to do fairly well, I think. Um, just showing you guys, again, the contract situation right now for this current year. Uh, it's looking pretty bad. Negative 11 million. But next year we have positive 40 mil plus. Not even getting rid of Bogdanovich's contract. Yes, we'll have almost 50 mil. <laughs> upwards of 50 mil in any contract space. So we definitely will be able to get, you know, a Kawhi if he opts out. Or some other type of great player who's in the, the free agency. DeMar DeRozan. Someone like that. With us offseason, I think will be really, 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 really cool. But uh, I guess we're just going to start simulating see how well we do. Um, again, just my hopes for this team this year is just the playoff spot. It could be the 8th seed. It could be the 1th seed. Uh, I just want to get um, player development going right now. I think that's what the Hawks should do it also in real life is just getting good player development. And right there, as you can see, uh, we're actually almost last <laughs> in the Eastern Conference. We're not doing odd whatsoever. Um, I don't know why that is. Oh, no. See, there we go. We're 8th now. Not bad. so 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 crazy it's almost broken in my opinion 
least in my simulation he wasn't. But obviously with a lot of these big time names, John Collins actually didn't really even do so hot on his new team, but obviously with the Air Fox, he's not going to get a lot of touches there either. Not even in the in Atlanta, he's going to have the same problem there in, in Sacramento, but uh, obviously with this team, I think again, like a Kevin Durant to the Nets, or a savior coming to another team, uh, we're going to try to find our savior. And can that savior be Kawhi, 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 Leonard, or even DeMar DeRozan? So, taking a look at Kawhi's offers, it's a max from the Thunder and a max from the Clippers. So, we're going to have to go all out. We're going to have to go all out. And obviously, this is, I never have very long rebuilds. So, I don't care giving the max. And he's actually the most interested in our team which is really cool to see. It looks like the Clippers didn't really perform that well this year, so Kawhi left, and, I mean, is that a possibility for this year? I mean, maybe if the Lakers, I mean, if the Clippers didn't really do well this year, that's a very big possibility. Um, taking a look at the backup point guard position, I think I am just going to try to pick up uh, uh, Chris Dunn again, because obviously getting Trey Young uh, starting, I want a good backup defending point guard, which Chris Dunn, yeah, Chris Dunn is uh, a, a pretty good, a pretty decent uh, backup point guard. And look at that. Kawhi and Dunn both agreed. So, taking a look at the jump in the next season, we have Trey Young, Tyrese Halliburton, Kawhi Leonard, Christian Wood, and Clint Capella. You guys can't tell me that's not a fire starting five. Look at our bench. This might be one of my best benches I've ever created. And I didn't even need to do anything because Atlanta's already stacked with good young talent. Like, this is this is perfect. I mean, this is what, you know, a, a team like this or the Bulls or the Knicks are, are dreaming of and drooling over is the possibility of one star player just hopping on and just uh, taking control of their team. So we have Trey, we have Kawhi as our dynamic duos for the year. Let's really hope that we get off to hopefully a better start to this year than we did last year. stars are announced on Tuesday, 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 Tuesday night, so I think Wednesday night, uh, I will film a, well, Tuesday night, I'll film a video for Wednesday on the, uh, all-star game, uh, starters and the reserves, I'll just go over them, how I feel about them, this, that, the other, um, I was thinking about doing a, a, a pre-all-star video, but I don't want to make too many of them, because I'm obviously going to make an all-star video during, you know, Tuesday, and then I'm going to make another All-Star video for, you know, All-Star Weekend, so I don't want to oversaturate my All-Star Weekend videos, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty cool, and also, I saw that uh, it looks like it's not East versus West, which I thought it was going to be. Apparently, it is Team LeBron versus Team Durant, so I'm assuming, 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 assuming they are going to let the guys draft their teams, which uh, I think is awesome. I hope they do do that, but... Um, I think it would be safer if they did just do East versus West, but then again, I guess it doesn't really matter. So uh, if they want to pick teams, I think that'd be really cool, but uh, I'm definitely not going to be stressing out a whole lot on what is going on there. So um, yeah, uh, I'm really excited to see, you know, who makes it, who doesn't, you know, there's like a lot of borderline guys like Levine, uh, Trey Young, LaMelo Ball, Sabonis, Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler, like... And even for the West, you know, it's it's so crazy to see who might make it, who might not. I mean, Anthony Davis, for a lot of people, are, isn't even an all-star this year. So, man, I know he's hurt, but, you know, he can still make the team but be hurt. You know what I mean? So, man, it's going to be such a crazy, crazy year for, for all-star guys this year. Um, probably some first as well. I'm pretty sure that, you know, Jalen Brown's going to be his first year too. So, it's going to be really cool to see that. But looking at the Western Conference, my God, it looks so weird. Seed with the Nuggets, Mavs, Jazz, Pelicans, and the Thunder making it back after one year of a rebuild. Uh, taking it back to the playoffs is super crazy. Um, now the Nuggets have Aldridge, that's a pretty good team. The Mavericks have Oubre and DeMar. Wow, they have DeMar at the power forward position, that's crazy. I don't even think the Lakers were in a playoff 
position there. That's that's really weird. And then the Celtics, who were at the bottom of the East last year, are now in the second seed, which is cool. Lamella Ball leading his team, uh, which you know, oh my God, they have Middleton now. Whoa, that would be a big pickup for sure. And then the Bulls get Devonte Graham as a starting point guard. That's really cool to see as well. Oh, okay, so they traded Middleton for Gordon Hayward. Oh, and they have Miles Bridges. Wow. That's a good deep team. Dang, the Bucks are going to be good this year as well. The Nets are sucking, though, which is funny because they won the title last year. But at least it's maybe a team we don't really have to worry about a whole lot, which is really nice. But with 3 2 1, boom, we simulate the rest of the entire NBA season. <laughs> I always want to show you guys the award winners and stuff to compare to your your own sort of simulations and things like that. Um, Trey Young, all NBA first team again. Let's go, Trey Young, man. I feel like he always makes it, but alas, <laughs> Kawhi Leonard does not make a team this year, which is super sad to think about, but we are the one seed. We're going up against a nasty eight seed that we're going up against the Milwaukee Bucks in the first round. That is just stupid, but uh, which is nice in a way, because we do have a Kawhi stopper in Kawhi Leonard. So thank God, actually, uh, that we did make that Kawhi Leonard pick up, because look at that. I think Kawhi probably helped out a lot in the, in the defense, at least in, in my head. Who knows what 2K's doing, but in my head, having a, a, a superstar stopper like Kawhi against a team like a Giannis team, or, uh, you know, I, I could put Kawhi on LaMelo Ball, I could put Kawhi on, on Jason Tatum if they make it. Um, I have a good a good all-star stopper in Kawhi Leonard, which is great, and then a great offensive star in, in Trey Young. I think it's a really good duo, in my opinion. Just like that, 4-1 to one against the uh, the Hornets. We have the Nuggets and the Timberwolves battling it out. It's the 1-2 versus the 1-2. The Giants of, of both conferences. We're going up against the Celtics again. We have a good stopper. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's go, man. This team is so, this team is too good, actually. I think this team is actually too good. We have a, a superstar uh, on defense with Kawhi, a superstar on offense with Trey Young, a super deep team. Oh, man, yeah. Like I said, this might be one of my, my, my deepest teams I've ever made. Look at Tyrese Halliburton, like a dude who's not even like on the radar for probably a lot of these teams are just balling out. That's awesome. Trey Young is playing amazing. I love that. Kawhi. 96 overall. See, that's great because he doesn't have to score a lot because he's going to be the mostly, you know, defensive-minded guy on the court, which is great. He doesn't really have to put all uh, all of it on his shoulders. Um, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's, it's GG. It's GG. Let's go, baby. Uh, this, again, was a, a pretty easy rebuild. Um, I really want to try to do maybe, like, a, a Detroit Pistons 1 or something like that, but, uh, again, I'm... I'm so tired today. I only got like three, four hours sleep because, again, last night I had a lot of fun, but um, this was super cool. I love the Atlanta Hawks. They're a super popular team. They're all, It's apparently one of your guys' favorite teams as well, which is really cool. Um, I'm very excited about Tuesday, about the All-Star Reserves being announced. I'll definitely be watching that with you guys as well. But, uh, yeah, I think that is going to be it for me, guys. Make sure you